hi Robin here um, I'm making a, a video today about um, monitoring um, monitoring the charging of an electric unicycle now I've got my big old master 3 amp charger here uh, really when you plug this into your unicycle the only thing it's really telling you is whether it's charging or not with a little green LED when it's charging uh, well red LED when it's charging and it goes green when it's charged um, not really very much information so I, I have made this a little unit that uh, tells me more than that and uh, that's what this video is about so um, in order to make uh, this battery charger monitor you're going to need a few bits um, you're going to need the box obviously you're going to need the module um, these are available from Aliexpress and um, as you can see they very helpfully put a circuit diagram on the back so you can wire it up um, they're not they're not over expensive um, you, you set it um, with this button here this little this single button does everything um, it works out of the box when you wired it up but um, to set certain things you go through this it's rather small print so <laughs> but uh, it does seem to work and then um, you'll need the connectors uh, which I bought off eBay uh, GX20 4 pin connectors now um, here the two connectors are three connectors that is they go on a cable um, and on the the unit itself that's uh, what I've done yeah um, I've got a free uh, socket this uh, plugs into the electric unicycle but the cable out of the charger I I got a chassis mated socket uh, to plug it into the unit but I could have run a cable and a free socket as well but I thought no it was I chose to just run this into the socket so the connections are very simple uh, the, the this wire is twin wire oh you need some wire obviously uh, to wire it up just make sure it's um, good for the current you're using so um, you wire, you wire uh, pins one and four on both both these connectors so they're wired the same although one's a socket one's a plug and they each of the two wires on each of these goes to this connector on the back so it shows you it shows you the wires to the connector um, so on the back here uh, <laughs> where it shows uh, load because this is a, is a little bit misleading in a way because it shows the battery connection and the load well the load is the wheel and the battery is effectively your charger so where your charger connects it goes to these two pins here red and black and where your wheel connector comes in it goes to red and black on there now these two wires you don't need at all just forget about those and that is the connections now the other thing you have to be a bit careful about is this unit comes in all different models so you need the 0 to 200 dc 0 to 200 volt dc model and uh it's 10 amps maximum so that's the one you want um there are others that come with heat sinks and there's ac models and that but just be sure to get this particular model and because of this range 0 to 200 uh, volts dc you can use this uh, to monitor the voltage of any EUC, it doesn't matter if it's King Song, In Motion, um, Big Go, uh, Nine Bot, you, you know, it really doesn't matter. Um, and that's that's it, really. Um, we're going to show you a little bit of video of it working, and then that's about it. So um, I'll show you my battery uh, battery charging monitor working. You plug in your power supply, uh, anything up to uh, 10 amps. 
uh, that's a free amp because I'm uh, going to use it with my big old master here 134 volts I, I don't recommend charging this wheel at 10 amps so that's the absolute maximum um, I, I wouldn't charge this particular wheel any higher than 8 amps but whatever um, so you've got your charger you plugged it in you should be able to see the little green light there so you take your charger lead and you plug it into the box and that goes in there so that's plugged into the box and then on the box you can see some details uh, 134 volts there's no current because I haven't plugged the wheel in uh, here's the watts you're charging at um, and here's the energy that's going into the battery and there's some other details here there's a scale here to show you state of charge of the battery this scale you can set up on the app using this button here pushing this button but anyway let's plug let's plug it into the wheel so this is the other lead from my unit we'll plug that into the wheel uh, if I can do this one handed into there there we are so we're plugged into the wheel and now the green uh, LED on the charger has gone red. The fan's going on the, uh, on the charger and we'll have slightly different details. So you can see for a start that the battery indicator is down, indicating that it's not fully charged. Uh, it's probably not set right at the moment. It's about 60% battery, but like I say, this scale here, you can adjust using this button here. So it's 120, 24 volts I'm charging at 3 amps you can see that the power I'm charging the wheel at is 391 watts which is actually uh, this the voltage times the current and here is the watt hours that I'm putting into the battery uh, so it's the capacity so your battery's got a capacity I forget what it is on the master but as you can see as it charges the amount of watt hours goes up so you can see the amount of energy that you put into your battery I think this is just the duration uh, the running time yeah here is uh, got a feeling this is the internal resistance of the battery uh, but whatever you don't really need that the important ones are down here this is really what you want to know the voltage currently of your battery your charging current the power you're putting in and the capacity that you've entered so we've put 17 watt hour into this battery now it's gone up to 18 watt hour so like I say, um, given putting the right connectors, these are GX20s, um, you can build this and it will work with any wheel whatsoever. So I, I hope you hope you like this. Very easy to build. And, um, and that's it for me. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching.